So, hiya guys, welcome back to the channel where I am self-building my Fiat Doblo Maxi into what is going to be a micro camper. Uh, if you watched last week's video, um, if you didn't watch it actually, I'll pop it up in the corner if you'd like to catch up. But I did all of the floor insulation, which is of course under this plywood. Now there are a few little bits that I want to tidy up before we get into what I'm going to do today, which is the ceiling and the wall insulation with this recycled um, plastic bottle insulation here, which is going to be good. Um, but yeah, I mentioned last week I need to file down this ply board a little bit on the left and right hand side so it doesn't cut into this foil bubble wrap too much uh, and maybe just tidy up a few of the um, aluminium foil tape areas of, as well, especially down here at the back. Let's crack on. So there were a few sections of this um, area around the wheel arches that just needed a little bit more of the aluminium tape. Um, so I've sorted that out. Again, like I said in, in the last video when I was doing this flooring, it doesn't look pretty, but I've just wanted to make sure that it's all sealed. So if you're going to do this, I'd say, you know, just, just use up your aluminium tape. Get it used. Don't worry about how it looks. You can always buy a little bit more of this. And then same for here. Um, I've just completed that edge that was proper rough because it was a little bit damp when I last did it. So the fellow that used to own this house um, was a carpenter and he's left loads of like old um, carpeting tools like planers and stuff like that, if that's even what that's called. Uh, we've got a few files and stuff and then this thing here again some sort of planer i don't know but they're getting a little bit of use they're going to come in really handy um for this van build it seems so yeah i'm just trying to um so that's fairly straight sorry that's fairly straight that you can see there and then i just need it to bend in ever so slightly uh, this section's just going to go around that wheel arch and like i said just so it's i, I really don't want it to be like cutting down into the the silver foil it's just a little bit tight since that's gone in um but we'll get there <sighs> there we go that's all it needed was probably about about four or five mil maximum on each, on this edge here, and this edge, just so it can slide in nicely. Brilliant, right, time to go at this insulation. Right, so I've got my mask, because I'm gonna be using this Smart Tack, like contact adhesive, like a bonding spray, and I'm gonna spray this on the side of the van, on the panels, leave it for a few minutes to um, dry off a little bit, and then this stuff should just rip uh, you know you don't have to cut it or anything and then just get it in some of these panels um what i would say about this stuff from research is <sighs> just be careful because this one is a high temperature one and it says it goes up to 90 degrees c some of the other ones like i was looking in wicks and screw fix and places like that they only go up to 50 degrees c which i reckon would probably be fine you'd be all right but i'm just thinking the sides of the van in summer are likely going to get proper hot. You know yourself in summer when you touch your car and it can be red hot. This is blue as well, so it's probably not going to reflect that much of the heat. So yeah, I'm just trying to bear that in mind. Feels a bit strange at the minute because we're in winter, so it's cold. Um, another thing that I was just thinking, hang on, let me show you. If you watched my first video where I just showed you the van, introduced it to you, I said to you, I'm going to get a window in this panel here. So I have no idea why I've put this deadening strip on the window, uh, on this panel, sorry. Absolute madness. So that was a waste. Oh, I only did it yesterday, so I've got away with that one. 
Um, I'll stick this one somewhere else. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a result. So I'm going to have some of this insulation in these panels, but I might as well use these deadening strips up. <laughs> So I'm just testing that one to see how it fits and then we'll get this contact adhesive on. Um, one thing I'll say, again this is just from research, this is the first time I've ever done this sort of thing like building a van, but it's probably really tempting to like proper cram this stuff in to all the little nooks and crannies which generally is probably the right thing to do, you know, but this stuff works best when it's not like squished together like that it needs to breathe a little bit and be open so if you're like stuffing it into the corners um you're probably ruining the insulation a little bit you know you're not getting the best out of it what i'm going to try and do is not put too much pressure on myself to get it perfect but try not to cram it in too much and just just try my best you know just try my best oh what a colour! I, did, I didn't even know that that was going to be frigging like luminous blue. Fits in well with the Blue Jay. So that's that bit down at the bottom and then that I've just started on. That's why it looks rubbish. I mean it all looks rubbish. I'll tell you what. It's harder than it looks, um, or, or, or the, it's harder than people make it look when you watch YouTube videos. One thing I'll say is loads of little nooks and crannies you'll probably start realising on your own van. That there's places that you don't even realise. That goes right up through, through this hole and it finishes like here. So I've got to, this is, you know, just make sure that I get it in there and then actually push it right up to the top. But again, like I said before, I'm just trying my best not to like really really cram it in so it's still a little bit you know nice and fluffy and airy I suppose the word would be uh, right living the dream So that is a good amount of insulation done. I've done, if I do a little little spin a Rooney, um, all the walls are done. All the little nooks and crannies, everything. That one, as I've said before, has been left because I'm having a window put in there, which by the way, I've just booked, um, I can't remember the name of the company that I've used, but well cheaper than I thought it'd be. I'll put it up on the screen. It's the cheapest company I could find. Um, 130 quid to get just like a nice fixed, privacy tinted window on there um, it's in Leeds so that's the only thing they don't offer a mobile service I'm fairly close to Leeds where I live so yeah booked in for uh, three or four days that's brilliant now one thing I've noticed compared to the other day looking at the front window there's absolutely no condensation whatsoever it is definitely warmer in here I've been in here for about 40 minutes with all the doors closed breathing it's raining outside so Compared to the other day where, you know, this was a carbon copy, the weather and everything, the whole front windscreen was just condensation, so that's a really, really good sign. Now, I'm just turning my attention to the ceiling now, and I'm just having a, a good little think about this. I might not insulate the ceiling, um, or with this stuff, at least. I might just use this sort of foil bubble wrap which I've mentioned before doesn't really offer that much 
insulation, but it does offer a little bit. Now, what I'm starting to be a little bit concerned about is the height of the vehicle. Of course, this is a micro camper van, so I ain't gonna be able to stand up in here, but what I do want is to be able to sit down comfortably. And if I show you this now, I'll try to. I'll tell you what, I'll put you up on the tripod. So my concern at the minute is starting to be the height of the van. Of course, I've got this insulation underneath, which is brilliant. Um, I'm really glad that I did that, but I'm worried now if I start putting this, even this insulation on the roof, I'm gonna start losing my height um, for sitting down. My bed's gonna go across here. Of course, when I'm sleeping, that's fine. But the bed is also gonna be a couch, like a dual purpose. So I've just been trying this out really. And I don't know if you look at that there, my legs are 90 degree angle, which is good. Let's say there, but that's my limit, like with a hat on. <laughs> Perhaps I just can't wear a hat when I'm in here, but no. And this is my point here. If I start introducing this, of course it'll be squashed down a little bit more. But, uh, do you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna have to get even lower down and I don't want the bed to be like proper low down if I can help it, you know, I still want a bit of storage underneath it. And I don't want to be sitting down like that <laughs> with my legs up in the air if I'm like cooking or working on my laptop. So yeah, just having a little think about this at the moment. Right, so I've just come up with what I think is going to be quite a good idea. Firstly, I'm going to lean more towards a compromise in keeping the height of the vehicle rather than using um, the plastic recycled bottle insulation or definitely none of this stuff. This stuff, I was even considering maybe using this on the ceiling, but that is definitely a no-go. I'm gonna to lose too much height. Now I've had this stuff lying around for ages, which is underlay um, insulation for laminate flooring or wood flooring. And this, I think, is gonna be a perfect middle, middle ground coupled with my Thermorap which is, um, I was going to use this anyway for the vapour barrier. So these two things together for the ceiling, I think is going to be a very, very good compromise. So I'm delighted with that. So I'm going to crack on with it. So I've done these two, absolutely delighted with them. I think they look really good. Um, now, to cut around the vent, I've got an old compass, and this is as amateurish as it gets, I'm afraid. Not a clue if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try and keep the compass where it is, get it back to the insulation, see if I can cut a perfect circle with this vent. And that is the final product. It's not great. There's probably a good <laughs> 10 mil around the whole diameter, but I'll take that. And the water vapor barrier is gonna go over here, remember as well. That'll do me. Right, so that is a really, really good job done. Um, really happy with the way that that ceiling's come out. Now, I've just gotta get more of this foil wrap everywhere and that's going to be my vapor barrier so that is pretty much the whole of the van with its nice little vapor seal and um, there's only co a couple of bits that i've missed out um, over at the front, I'm getting that window put on, so I didn't really want to touch that door at all. And then this one here behind me, I haven't done because I think I mentioned this. Um, I did install a reversing camera and the wire comes through some of these areas here and up there, see? And I want to change that reversing camera at some stage, so I don't want to seal it up just yet. But no, that's good. And I think I might have gone overkill in a few places, but better that way than not enough, I think. So thank you for tuning in. In next week's video, I suppose I'll be getting on with some of the ceiling cladding and potentially 
some of the electrics as well. So I'll see you then. Out.